after the next block, we find Mrs. Victor Gook and her son, Mr. Rush Gook. Sade is holding forth with considerable heat. Listen. I didn't blame her. I didn't blame her one bit. I was glad she showed some spunk for once. This time, Madam Hardy ever loses her temper. Never. Oh, she can have funny little spells and all. She can get mad, same as anybody else, only you have to know her real well to realize she's mad. Wonder what they thought in Yamkins this afternoon. The place was crowded with customers and clerks. And did they turn and stare? You could have knocked Miss Apparat over with a pickaxe. Her jaw dropped down to her knee. Hey, look out in front. Big automobile pulling up to the curb. Who's that? Hello, probably. Oh, Mr. Rubus. Wow. Well, Cubs with him. When is they coming in? Oh, golly, my hair. Oh, right, quick, run upstairs and bring Rubus is going to wait in the car. Cubs coming in by himself. What's the idea, you phone? Probably they just stop past to get some invoices or documents or something. Yeah. That's some buggy, huh? Certainly big enough. Wonder how many cylinders is underneath that hood. Fifteen or twenty, I'll bet a dollar. I'm going to inquire next. Hey, oh, it's old. Green guy. What that pile of junk you just rolled up in? Murder Pierce in Shreveport, Louisiana. She's been visiting her grandson in Chicago. Hi, Cindy. Hello. The boss and I are on our way down to see me shops to transact some business at the freight department. Just stop past to pick up some documents. I just got through telling Mom that was the way of it. You're a smart boy. Open the bottom drawer of the bookcase and get my portfolio. Oh. Your husband rides in style, kiddo. Isn't that some fancy chariot out in fact? Don't you want to invite Mr. Rubens to step in a minute? No, we're in a hurry. A shake a leg with that portfolio, I think. Okay. Dick, Ruthie quit the symbol club this afternoon. Oh, go on. Ruthie quit the symbol club this afternoon. Who's in trouble? Miss Apple up? I don't get Albert on the wall pass again. Oh, well, thanks, Charlie. I don't suppose I could ride down to C and A shops with you and Mr. Rubin. Uh huh. Well, kiddo, I better beat it. Probably be home around. Ruthie's on the scene. Uh-huh. In a Hamilton. She stood there in the underwear and stamped her foot and talked loud and cried and everything else. Uh-huh. Well, I want to hear all about it when it's I come home. Stem bottom, I'm talking about this. Little sweet, mild, timid Ruthie stem bottom that wouldn't hit a lion with a fly swatter. She stood there in Yelton's underwear and told Miss Apparat where to get off at and told her where to get off at good and proper. Good for Lucy. That's fine. Mm. When I get home tonight, I want to hear all Something the details. Something broke loose in her. She stood all she could stand from Miss Apparat and the dynamite finally exploded. Oh, you should have seen her. Her eyes flashed fire and she trembled all over. Cried, too. Not like some timid little baby, though. Cried because she was just plain mad. Miss Apparat, she says, you're nothing but a big, fat, lobby da windbag. Miss Apparat, she says, you think you're the whole cheese, but let me say this you know, one I thing, you're a mean, it. conceited, selfish woman. Maybe it's not ladylike to stand here in this public you know, place. I want to hear all about it, but right now I have to go. Mr. Rubish is waiting for me outside. He's staring in here, too. Do you realize it's Ruthie I'm talking about? Sure, and I'm anxious to have you tell me the entire story. As soon as I come well, home... Can you nag? Her... Can Ruthie put on a scene in public? In a big department store like the Hamilton? No, I can't. I'm clever guess. Little, gentle, retiring, bashful Ruthie. Why, she wouldn't jump on a rattlesnake. No, I don't guess she would. Well, still waters run deep, you know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes these quiet people really blow the lid off. Blow the lid off is right. All them clerks and customers in the Hamilton must have thought of Cyclone hit town. I'll tell you the mess that touched off the gunpowder. For a long, long time now, Miss Apple, oh. has acted like she doesn't recognize Ruthie. Acts like she can't place her, see? At symbol meeting, she looks at her puzzled like, who is this stranger? And that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and mean and rotten. Duh. Won't call her by name. Refuses to call her by name. Duh. Mrs. Uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, tell somebody prompts her and says, stand by them, and then she'll say, oh, to be sure, Miss stand by them. Now, that can be aggravating. Duh. What do you want, Fred? The person can't talk. I just wanted to tell Doug Mr. Rubles is cleaning his neck. He acts like he's... Oh, yes, Sadie. I really got to beat it. I told the boss it'd only take me two seconds to run in and get my well, portfolio. What do you mean? Shall I quit the symbol club? I don't believe I understand. Well, I'm the president of that symbol club, but if Ruthie Stembottom quits, I quit too. Uh-huh. Well, so long. I'll well, see you. Aren't you I'm interested in this? I'm interested in the horse, but I can't keep my boss sitting out in the street with his teeth in his mouth all day. Well, would you quit the symbol club? I don't belong to symbol club. You're not interested, then. Oh, yeah. Doug, should I go out to the automobile and tell Miss Ruby she'll be along in just a minute? It'll look mighty funny for me to quit the symbol club. I'm present. But if Ruthie's in, I don't feel... Get out. 
What? Drew has got out of your car. Is he coming in here? No, he's looking at the tires. Well, so long, kiddo. Be back around a quarter to five. I might be a little late to come on, Dan. Well, it's probably not for me. Yes, it's willing. Okay. Bye, say. If I were to be late in five, I'll fall. Oh? Yeah. Yeah, just a second. Stop! 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 you know the floor walker's name, Mary Ham, from underwear department. Uh oh. Who is it? I don't know. Man or woman? I don't know. Oh, Mr. Rubis probably thinks I got crazy. I popped my head out the door and then popped it right back in again. Should I go tell him you've got a phone call? No. No? Yeah? Who? Mr. Beefer? Mr. Beefer? Weefer. Well, don't bother spelling it out. What can I do for you, sir? Ah, but there's 46 cylinders in that automobile, Mr. Rubis. Oh, that's a walk in Yampton's underwear department. Tall, slim fellow with afternoon coat and pants and gun. Hey, please, right. people, I can't hear what this half-witted tire in the face. Looks like he has a mouth full of money. Well, look, neighbor, why don't you call me later on? I'm very busy just now. What? Rose? Oh? Oh, clothes. You're selling clothes. Roots? Boots. Boots. Oh, suits. You're selling suits to clothes? Well, I'm sorry, friend, but I'm pretty well stocked up right at the moment. I've got... What? Oh, shut yes. Oh, some longer, rather. Here, let you talk to him. Oh, I don't want to talk. Hey, chum, I'm afraid I can't spare any more time. I've got all the clothes I need, and... Honey? Money? Money? Oh, you don't charge much money? Well, look, I've already told you that. Oh, oh goodbye. The guy the lunatic. Hmm. I don't give a hoot about the timber crop. What kind of talk is that? Well, my boss is waiting out in front for me. I told him it'd take me two seconds to run in the house and get my portfolio. That was six hours ago. I'm still in here. I bet he thinks I've been murdered. Go to your boss. Go to him. Only let me say this one thing. I believe. That's for me. I just went to China. Oh, I get it. So I'm safe. Goodbye. Oh? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Miss Hammersley. Uh, just a second. Yes. Yes, telephone. I got you. Miss Hammersley's from the office. Oh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Mr. Miller, did you talk about that floor walker there in Yamton's underwear department? Don't seem to remember him. Oh, slim. Where's the afternoon coat? Oh, my head is out the door again and pop it right back in again. Boss must think I'm stark raving mad. But since there was Miss Hammersley on the wire, I figured you'd want to Yes? Yes, Miss Hammersley. Yes. No. Yes, Mr. Rubis and I, yes, we will put a scene a shot. Yes. Okay, Miss Hamilton. Okay. He's a lame brain, too. I just want to ask you one question. About losing the timber club? Yes. Yeah. Well, take it. Mr. Rubis crawled back in the front seat, Tom. Looks like he's sick of Goodbye. Goodbye, mister. <laughs> we'll have to run after groceries for the same Okay. I'll tell you what I'd like to have for supper. I'd like to have a... Hey. No. I forgot my pocket portfolio. Yeah, oh, here's the yeah. Pop my head out of the door the third time and pop right back in again. Maybe you're wonderful, Mr. Rubis. Hey, don't bother about your portfolio, then. Huh? Hey, don't bother about your portfolio. Rubis is driving away. Oh, my God. See, that's a nice car he's got. He's gone, Faith. Yes, I see. He's gone. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to know all about Lucy. Tell me about Lucy. 